One of the many things I love about Radio Row and Super Bowl week is I get to see an old friend. Yeah, my man. Steve Trey Ross. Wingo. How, how are you, you man? Good. I'm doing good. Good to see you, man. How are yes. you? Yes. Good. How are you? You Very look good, good, man. Feel good. Feel good. You look relaxed. Yeah, I flew in last night, got here, and just here for a few days, then heading back out to the uh, the warm shores. <laughs> how many Super Bowls for you? I was thinking about that. I think there yeah. might be 31. What? Yeah, Super Bowl 27 was the first I covered. Huh. 52 to 17, the final right. score. Your 10 is unbelievable. It's, a, it's this incredible. This is a great it's, 10. I mean, he golfs all day. <laughs> hey, and it should be better. It's still, I suck. So oh, come on, Trey. Get out of here. Uh, we have some good days. We have some bad days. Out What's there, your you best know. round? Uh, 73. At Kapalua, at the Bay Course, not the Plantation. That's course, the, the best round you've ever played. Seventy-three. Really? And, and I was I was one under through thirteen, and I texted my wife and said, "Oh my God, I'm under." She's like, "What are you doing? <laughs> Put down the phone." I bogeyed the next three holes. What's the matter with you? I'm an idiot. Yeah, but your wife is right. She's your wife right. knows yes. you're an idiot. Yes. You don't you don't brag about so, your scores. So the that's on over. her, really. Right. It's on her. <laughs> How is it on her? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm screwing it up again. <laughs> that's what you, I'm doing. You're digging a deeper. <laughs> <laughs> she was trying to help you, and here you are blaming her, I'm man. An idiot. Minus one after 13, you had to call somebody. I had to tell somebody because this will never happen again. Right, but next time call me, not yes, your wife. Done. <laughs> done. Okay. I just got to unblock your number. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We met in the bathroom. You remember that, That's right? correct. <laughs> that ESPN is great. at Bristol. 24-hour fantasy marathon. Yep. Trey was walking in. I yeah. saw, it's the magic of live TV, Billy. Yeah. He was in a rush. He had to go to the bathroom. We crossed paths for the first time. He saw me. I saw him. He said hello. I said hello. I said I love your work. He said I have no idea who you are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then he went to the bathroom and went back on TV. Were you just, you're just hanging out in the bathroom waiting to see people? I had to go to the bathroom, Billy. It was okay. a 24-hour, 24-hour marathon. marathon. Yes. He, he, was, he was with Gojo on that one. Yes, yeah. yes I was. That was but you was remember that moment, right? Oh, absolutely. Eyes and, the, and the foundation <laughs> makes all, but we locked eyes. Yeah. Okay, Cross keep them up here. Maybe, yeah. Keep them up here. <laughs> keep them up here. He has a new pot out, alternate routes. It's available on Amazon, and uh, I, I can't read my own handwriting. Wondery, Wondery. Thank you for that. He's, he's going to read your handwriting. It's, it's on alternate. Right. It says Amazon and Woody. It Trey. says right. Woody. Yeah. I have been up for five fucking days. I don't know. You, I don't know how you do it, bro. I don't know how you do it. I can't dig deep anymore. Uh, since you love the NFL and the history yeah. of the NFL, so. Yeah. which I know you do. If I told you 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 5 years ago, Super Bowl yeah. in Vegas, you would have told me what? You're crazy. I know. Right? Like I we're all old enough to remember when the NFL would not let Tony Romo have a fantasy football convention at a Las Vegas hotel because yes. there was a casino in it. Crazy. Right? Now there's a team here. We had the draft here, and now we have the Super Bowl here, which means the NFL is really good at following the money. Right. Okay. Yes. That's why it's a twenty-two billion dollar a year industry. The best. The doors were opened once the Supreme Court rule changed. We're good. All that stuff we said before. Forget about it. <laughs> Doesn't exist. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. How about Mahomes though? Because I feel like there's pressure there. Just hear me out on this, yeah, okay? Yeah. I know he's won two. He's lost one. You don't want to be the guy that starts having like a five hundred record at Super Bowls Correct. and losing the guys like Brock Purdy. I, I would agree with you. Yes. Um, and, and if you care about chasing the, the chasing of history and chasing Tom Brady. Well, see, this is where you right. and I. Will always differ. Okay, uh, and I I respect this because uh, okay. I I will never look at the rings as the thing for, okay. that makes someone great at, at what they do or not. Right. Um, nobody's getting seven. No one's ever getting seven. I think like, Mahomes knows he's not getting seven. Yeah, every yes. it's not happening. So right. so for me, I look at how they've played, and I, I I looked at the numbers over their first six seasons as starters: Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes. Right. The Chiefs under Patrick Mahomes have more wins in the regular season than Tom Brady did with the Patriots. They have more playoff wins than Tom Brady did with the Patriots. He has way more passing yards, way more passing touchdowns, a better passer rating, and fewer interceptions. Mm -hmm. So the only place in those first six seasons where Tom has it one up on Patrick is Super Bowl rings. Tom had three through his first six years. If Patrick wins on Sunday, or the Chiefs win on Sunday, Patrick will have three, and he will have been in four, which is one more. So when you look at it along those lines... That's what we're talking about here. We're yes. talking about a guy. I mean, he's in, he's in his fourth Super Bowl at the age of 28. It's crazy. Tom Brady used to be the youngest, and it was 30. Right. So he's got him by two years. Um, I, I just think we're looking at a guy who was rewriting the way things are done. And the knock against him was, well, it, all those games were at home. All right, fine. I'll go to Buffalo. And it's supposed to be the Bills' year. They're better. Now we're going to win. Yep. Oh, we got to go to Baltimore. Number one scoring defense. Uh, they have the MVP. They hold them to 10 points. They win 17 to 10. They set the tone early with those first two touchdowns. And they couldn't do anything in the second half until they had to make a play on third and nine. They hit Marquez Valdez-Scantling for 32 yards, who suddenly grew hands again. Yeah, like, who amazing, knew? Right? I didn't know you could grow hands <laughs> after a terrible regular season. How, how, great, when how, them, how right? crazy is it? 
that that's how their season was yeah. bailed out. Yeah. When they dropped that's so many though. passes that's the what he's entire saying. season. Yeah. 38 passes dropped, most in the NFL. And, Crazy. and Marquez was awful. Yes. Like, you know, the game against the Eagles, the game against uh, – uh, uh, he had one against the Raiders where Mah Patrick hit him right here and he dropped it. And he went – like this, throw it. No, catch the ball. <laughs> right, you put your hands on it. Catch the damn ball. Yes. He has two great catches against the Bills. He has that unbelievable catch to seal the deal against the uh, against the Ravens. And he had the catch in the AFC Championship game last year that helped them beat the Bengals because yeah. everyone else in the Chiefs receiving core was hurt. So maybe just Marquez Valdez Scantling is the next great playoff pressure guy. Who knows? Uh, but Billy, that's what he's kind of saying. Like it's yeah. it's interesting. There's so many there's so many things that go into winning mm -hmm. and winning yeah. a Super Bowl and. Correct me if I'm wrong. I guess what you're telling us is if Mahomes never wins another one, yeah. if he ends his career with two, you yeah. still think we're seeing a better version of Tom Brady. I, I, I think and, that, and you might not be wrong. I, I think mean, the thing that makes Tom the best for me yes. is the number one is by all the numbers, yes. passing yards, touchdowns, completions, you know, all of those things. Um, the, the rings are sort of a, a, a byproduct of that. And w why I say this, like, look at the look at the. The two of the last three Super Bowls that they won, he was the he was great in. The, I have to look at the last three. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. I mean they held the Chiefs to nine points. Okay, they had scored an average of thirty points a game, and yet somehow Tom Brady was the MVP of that game. No, the defense was the MVP of that game. Right. Super Bowl Fifty One. If he's not bailed out by the third and one call by Kyle Shanahan, they probably lose that game. If you throw to, if you hand the ball off to Marshawn Lynch in Super Bowl Forty Nine, which by the way is one of our alternate routes. What if you do that? Maybe you, maybe things are looking very differently. That was well done. Yeah, so all these things, <laughs> thank you, not my first time, all, all these things may play out very differently, and we may look at Tom Brady as the guy that won three and then lost four in a row. So your new podcast, Alternate Routes, comes out March 5th yeah. on Wondery Plus. How did you choose the alternate routes to go down? Um, we Actually, we have a production meeting every week. Uh, one of them we're talking about, uh, I think, which also is interesting, is what if the CP3 to uh, Lakers trade wasn't voided by the NBA. Mm -hmm. Like, how does that change how we look at CB3, right? Yes. Oh, he's the one guy can't get it done, 3-1 lead, can't get it done. Well, if he goes and plays with Kobe, they lose in 3-1 leads, right? And how many rings does Kobe? Does Kobe get more than right. than, than Michael Six? Mm -hmm. How do we look at that scenario now? And there's a really weird one, and you'll appreciate this. Okay. Um, you know, the, the Lakers and Bulls in 1979 had a coin toss to decide who would be the number, get the number one pick in the draft. It was Magic Johnson. <laughs> right. Freaking coin toss, by the way. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. The Lakers won. So That's ridiculous. Ir Irvin Magic Johnson goes there. <laughs> right. And the Lakers, Showtime Lakers are born. Well, what if the Bulls win the coin toss? Yes. And he goes to he goes to Chicago. Artis Gilmore's numbers were almost identical to Kareem's numbers at that time. Right. Does Artis Gilmore become the greatest scorer in the history of the NBA? <laughs> Does Pat Riley ever exist? Does he go to Miami? Does he go to New York? Because Pat Riley was built on taking over uh, for Paul Westhead in the Showtime Lakers. Like, all of that stuff changes. What if Pat Riley's parents never met? Exactly right. What if... Instead of going to Philadelphia because of the draft a few years later, Charles Barkley goes to Washington, where his teammate would be Tom McMillan, who became a congressman. Charles Barkley becomes the first African-American president instead of Barack Obama. Wow. Good night, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you later. That's how we play alternate routes. <laughs> Sold! <laughs> Uh, Magic then plays with Jordan. Exactly. Or, or oh no, I don't, I don't or think. Or maybe they don't get Jordan. I, they don't get Jordan right. because they're not they're drafted so in that Ivy because right. they'd be so good. Does, Matt, <laughs> does, does Michael never become like one of the reasons that Magic uh, Michael became the thing symbol of Nike is because Magic turned it down. Right. Magic turned it down. <laughs> it's I'm crazy. Listen to stuff. your podcast, right? <laughs> You're lying, but I appreciate you. <laughs> I mean, you just told me a whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> you know me well. <laughs> you know me it's well. It all back, goes back to the bathroom. Oh, my God. Uh, who wins Augusta this year? I want to talk some golf with you just for a second here because I'm going to Augusta. Yeah. Okay, I'm go It's my second time now, but I'm going yeah, you there You went last again. year, right? I went two years, two years ago, ago, two and, years then, ago. and then we didn't go last year, but I'm going to go yeah. back this year because uh, I loved it so much. Yeah. Uh, who's going to win that thing, man? Well, you know, the interesting thing is, like, I, you, you almost hesitate to say this, but, like, is he healthy? If he's healthy enough to play once a month. I know. Once I know. a month? I know. I know. Do we get, do we get it? Do we get it a month? Do we get it a month? It's the greatest thing in the world. the greatest thing in the world. I'd love to see someone like Tony Fino win it. Like, you know, but Ooh, the Phoenix. Ooh, yeah, we're Phoenix. We're fans of his. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a big fan of Tony. You know, he, he, he shot a 68 with a dislocated ankle his first round at Augusta. He can yes. make birdies and bunches. He's just got to he's just got to drive it straight. Yes. So. Are you upset? Does, does like, the PGA Tour live thing, like, I'm over it. I don't care. Like, it doesn't matter. Go do what the hell you want. My, my, my <laughs> problem is when the PGA Tour went down this road, and yeah. I do some stuff for the PGA Tour, so, you know, I'm comfortable saying this. Don't play the moral card. 
That but, was their mistake. Yes. What, when is the PGA Tour you've been ashamed? Well, you want to talk about the, the history of African-American golfers at Augusta? You want to, go, you want to do Shoal Creek 1989? There's a lot of things that we right. can talk about. Of course. Don't, don't play. The, like the, it's the FedEx Cup. You know how many FedEx offices there are in Saudi Arabia? Right. Like, don't go down that road. Yes. Just, 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 be, just be honest about it. But I think what the players have, have, the players have spoken, and what yeah. they're telling you is, hey, we only care about the majors. Yeah. And that John Rahm saying winning the Masters is what propelled him to go to live. Correct. Because he knows he can now that play in the majors. That's $500 million. Well, that's 600 I think. <laughs> By the way, do you think the uh, league kept flipping that coin until it landed on Lakers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, we didn't get it right. Let's do it again. Oh, we messed that up. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. All right. Check out the uh, the new pod, Alternate Rounds, on Amazon and Wondery Plus. There so you, you go. Right there. Yeah, you did. Uh, Trey, I love seeing you. Uh, we appreciate the time. It's, it's one of my favorite things about being here this week, you get to see people you haven't seen in a long time. Uh, thank you, man. Yeah. Uh, and you do have a spectacular fucking tan. My yeah. God, man. Yeah, no, and you're wearing the right shirt to show it off. You know what you're doing. He knows what he's doing. Put on some sunscreen, Trey. I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> Vitamin D, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Vitamin D. <laughs> thank you, my friend. You got it, guys. <laughs>